Hi, this is Bruce with Treasures of Stone. Today we're going to learn how to install or replace a clock motor. How to adjust the clock so it hangs nice and straight on the wall and how to install the hands. To replace or install a clock motor, first ensure that you've got the correct length motor shaft. The Clockett Company, where I buy my supplies, sizes their shaft length according to the thickness of the clock face. So if the clock shaft is too long, your hands are going to stand too far away from the clock face. If it's too short, then you won't be able to uh, thread the locking nut onto the shaft. So we've got the right size shaft here and we use a little rubber washer it goes over the shaft that helps hold the clock straight up and down on the wall and we'll talk about that more later so we insert the clock mo the clock motor and then add the little metal washer thread on the locking nut I say thread on the locking nut. There we go. And now we can snug it down a bit. You want to be careful in that you don't scratch the uh, face of the clock when you're tightening it down. Now we want to be sure that we can hang this clock straight up and down on the wall. So you take it to the wall, you hang it on the, the nail or whatever you're using, and you make sure that the 12 and the 6 line up real nice, nice and straight up and down. If it needs adjusting, hold the motor from the back and rotate the stone slightly as needed. Next, you can recheck the alignment, make sure it's nice and, nice and snug, nice and straight up and down. Tighten the nut from the front again if you really need to. Just be careful and don't over tighten this nut. If the stone is heavier on one side than the other and the motor won't hold it nice and straight up and down on the wall, then just use a pin. Use a pin and stick it in the wall, let the clock rest on that, and that will hold it nice and straight up and down for you. Next, let's get those hands on correctly. Now the minute hand, notice, is a slotted hand. So it fits one place onto the shaft. And you'll see this one is off slightly. We want to rotate this to where it is pointing directly to the 12. Okay, we got the minute hand temporarily set to where it f fits right at, right at 12 o'clock. We can take that off, set it aside. Now let's work with the hour hand. Hour hands sometimes come with a little burr in them because of the way they press these hands. So I take something like this, run it in there, ream it out just a little bit, smooth out any of those burrs, and make sure that it'll fit, that the hour hand will fit on there nice and smooth. So now we can take this hour hand and we're going to point it directly toward the 11, press down on it, get it nice and firm. Now, we we'll double check it, we we'll look at it like this, make sure that this hand is nice and parallel with the face of the clock. Okay, that's good to go. So now we can work with the minute hand. Put the uh, minute hand on, directly pointed toward the 12. Now if your hands came with a little threaded cap like this, you're ready to thread that on there snugly and it will hold the hands. You'll know if you get that cross threaded because the hands are going to be flopping around even though the, the nut feels like it's tight it's cross threaded. Take it loose start over again. You may have to do that several times until you get that cap threaded on there correctly. Now if your clock came as with a second hand and an open nut, you'll want to 
thread the knot on there and again sometimes that's a challenge okay we got lucky this time first time it went see it's nice and snug on there the minute hand doesn't flop around now you can take your second hand and you notice that second hand fits right over that little shaft in the center of the motor press it down slightly not too not too hard now again you want to turn it all sideways and make sure that the hands are not going to strike each other or drag on each other because if it does this little motor will stop will stop running right where they right where they touch okay so we got that on there now we're ready to install a, a AA battery. I usually put the positive in in first. That seems to go in a little easier. These new clock housings are awfully tight, seems like, but it will slip right in there. And voila! Our second hand runs. We know the battery is good. We know the uh, motor is good. Now the thing I want to remind you about is never change the hands, never change the time, by touching the hands. Always use this little wheel that is in the back of the motor. So our clock is now ready for use. The motor is installed. It hangs nice and straight on the wall. The hands are aligned. Everything is good. Okay, thanks for watching and have fun telling time.